Hi friends. I am getting ready to go work out and uh, I was trying to like look through my purse here or whatever and I just realized I have a new little like mini purse coming in the mail today probably while I'm gone that I'm going to do a little purse transfer over. As much as I kind of love these big purses and I can put lots of stuff in it, I've kind of been over it especially as I've been like going to the gym and like having to like take all the stuff out and anyway I'm condensing to a really small purse part of it is for the trip I wanted to do it like a cross body but also this is just annoying to have this much of a purse and I don't know I might just condense it and then make one little pouch of stuff to leave in my car for the extra stuff that like I keep carrying around with me that I don't need to have but then I'll have it in the car if I need it when I'm out and about because if I'm not if I don't need it when I'm out and about I have it here at home like you know what I mean like if I'm here at home I have it I'd only need it if I was in the car out and about so I might just make one little pouch or something so anyway I'm kind of I actually might maybe go sit down for a second my I don't I'm pretty sure it's my medication um, but I get these, ugh, hang on, let me go sit down. I get these little bouts of, um, it might be like hunger. Maybe, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do this banana and the water before I go work out. It feels like nauseousness, but it might be like hunger, um, from like doing intermittent fasting and whatnot, but kind of like really doesn't make me feel very well um and it usually happens between like 9 and 10 9 and 10 30 every morning um i don't really have a desire to eat necessarily <sighs> but i was gonna take this banana and eat it in the car and drink a lot of water before i go walk but i've also started to drink Ashley's little fair life protein drinks. I'm not making the powder protein drinks these days. Um, one, just time. Like I'm not taking the time to do it, which is dumb. But also, um, the fair life ones taste better. <laughs> also, I'm gonna eat this banana, but then I'm gonna show you what Ashley bought yesterday. I'll show you. Let me eat this banana really quick. Okay, let me show you what Ashley got. She got a gift card from her friend to Hobby Lobby. Couldn't find any slime to get, so we got these. Let me see which ones, I think this one and this one. Let me show you. Okay, there's silicone. So this cat, that one was like, that was sealed on there quite well. We poured her fair life into this yesterday. It's a little like popsicle maker. We poured her fair life in there she's gonna have that as a snack when she gets home from school and this one has like either vitamin water or like these body armors she poured some body armor in there as well she really likes the body armor ones a lot she had like two last night but I'm gonna try and uh, convince her to maybe put some protein powder in with the body armor ones or something to like kind of beef them up but those were like seven bucks on sale and she spent her own gift card to get that and then she got like a stress ball because <laughs> she couldn't resist getting some kind of a texture and something to play with her hands four miles i did four miles so I did pretty good um got a call while i was there it's quite interesting um jason jason called me that was the call but this morning when he was getting ready for work. It was about 7.30 and uh, he came running back up to the room and I was awake. He kind of woke me up with his alarm and getting ready and whatnot and I was like, well, I got a good night's sleep. I might as well just be awake and I laid in bed until Ashley had to get up for school. But he came rushing back up at about 7.30, 7.45 and he was like, I think I should go skiing. I was like, you have work today, dude. This is like, this is a work day. Like, what, how many staff members do you have there today? And he's like, I only have two there. Besides, you know, and then me. And, uh, 
I was like, then you might need to go to work, but whatever, you do you. You're the boss, you know? And he was like, because my brother just called me and the ski conditions are so good and they got tons of the snow that we were supposed to get, but we didn't get anyway. And he's like, I think we're gonna go skiing. And then he went downstairs and then I heard this small, big like grumble. And he texted me and he's like, oh, one of my employees has a doctor appointment today. I can't miss work. Okay. So that was 7.30 this morning. About 40 minutes ago, not even that, like a half hour ago, Jason texted me or he called me and he's like, I'm coming home and going skiing. <laughs> you are such a dork. And I guess he said when he had texted our store manager and asked her like, hey, just wanted to make sure that you and our other employee are gonna be there today. Um, I might have some stuff that has come up and she was like, yeah, I knew you wanted to go skiing. I just didn't say it then. But as soon as Jason got to the store, she was like, you wanna go skiing today, don't you? <laughs> Like, and it's perfect timing for like when he called me because he gets there like two, three hours before the store opens to do p paperwork and he's doing our tax work and stuff. And for her to get to the store just before 10 o'clock, which is when we open, and for him to call me just after 10, it totally lines up with her telling him, go skiing. <laughs> and uh, she's there alone because the other employee is at a doctor's appointment now. I don't know for sure if he's coming in afterward or not, but she said that she would call our third employee if she absolutely needs to, if it gets too busy. Um, so Jason's probably at home now by the time all this has, you know, I've walked and stuff, but um, he still has to drive up and go skiing. His brother says he's gonna wait for him and, and you know, to ski with him, but it's it, at the time it was like two hours for his brother to wait for him, but I don't know, but we were talking on the phone. It's like, you've arrived, dude. Like, that's what we've worked so hard for, to own our own business, is to choose when you take the time off. He worked six days a week and stressed on the seventh day for now 19 of the 21 years we've been married. He's earned it gonna go skiing tell everyone on the on the channel that you're uh gonna ditch out of work and go skiing all right <laughs> he's like okay that's what i'm doing oh 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 okay i, I didn't realize you're filming me yeah, yeah. i am <laughs> you're like okay <laughs> uh yeah no i'm pitching out i'm heading up yeah okay get some powder oh my gosh you change your whole personality when you go skiing you like take off 20 years and that's not cool <laughs> Cause you didn't even act like that when I met you. I don't know what to say to that. I don't either. Go have fun. I feel good. Enjoy your youth. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. I'm going Bye. to the dollar store. Oh, have fun at the dollar store. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. So I'm in, um, what do you call it? The dollar store. And I found these cute little bags. I'm going to get them for Easter. Um, because our trip to Hawaii is like, so bogged down at the timing of three of our daughter's birthdays. We have Easter, we have a church conference. It's our kids break. It's like a lot. So if I can like plan ahead and do something that is so simple that I don't have to decorate for, I'm gonna do it. Um, that we are very limited Easter this year because we have this trip to Hawaii. These might even go to Hawaii with us. I might do Easter on a completely different day. I haven't decided because I don't think I have time to do it. <laughs> honestly don't we might even be doing a birthday party for Ashley and or Chelsea before we even go to Hawaii and we haven't decided because they finally deserve one after three years of not getting to have parties um because of COVID all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna grab a few things not much because obviously like I if I'm gonna take it to Hawaii with me I don't want to like pack it and like have it weigh very much and Jason will get mad at me so I can't like get a whole lot of stuff which means no baskets no no, um, what do you call it, the grass? None of that stuff. Maybe tissue paper. One package of tissue paper. That's it. Okay, clearly I got more than <laughs> just these bags at the dollar store. So I'm gonna go home shower and I will show you what I got. Okay, showered, cleaned up, not doing makeup, not that kind of day, I'm not doing anything. It's only one o'clock, you guys. I've gotten so much done by getting my workout done so fast. 
I'm gonna show you a few things because my Amazon order just came, so I can kind of go through my purse. We'll do that here in a second. But I wanna show you what I got from Amazon and then um, we'll do the stuff from the dollar store. Now I already opened my little purse bag. Smaller than I wanted for like daily use, but it's definitely what I want for like travel. My problem is the ladies, and I knew it was gonna be a problem. I can order, did I order? I don't think I did. I, I can order an extender for this, it does fit, but I problem I don't like with crossbodies is this whole chest. I can slide it down, like back behind me, but I if the ex extender is on, this would sit down here, which is kind of where I would prefer it. But also like this size, I think is too small for like my daily use, but I can't show you because I'm using the camera. But the main thing I needed was kind of depth in the bag. This is only like $15 as well. So it's not like a waste of money or a loss by any means. I can definitely use this and I'll tell you how I'm gonna use it um, instead of returning it. But I needed depth to be able to put my camera in here. So I'm going to use it for when I actually start walking outside again. I do enjoy doing that when the weather is warm and sunny. Get some vitamin D, get outside, enjoy a trail close to a bathroom, but I need to have a kind of a smaller, more compact bag that can like rotate around. So I will use it for that. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for the gym or like going, doing my walking at the community center just because I, I only need a pair of keys, my little key fob, and it goes right into my pocket and my phone to go in there. I don't take my water bottle in anymore. I don't need anything else. So I don't think I'll use it for that. But walks definitely and for our upcoming Hawaii trip, I want something smaller, but like I need to still be able to put stuff in it. Um, and I like this one because it has like some credit card slots in it, but also like a big open slot for cash. If you are new to my channel, I use a cash budget for Hawaii and I just put a little bits of cash in here as we're going about each day. Um, and then it's easily accessible as I'm like, I, I like that it's right here on me. I can open this up. I can grab cash out. I can grab a card if I need to use a card, um, but also my camera can go right inside the pocket as well. There's other little mesh pockets on the side in the second pouch um, and a little ring attachment thing for your keychain. I only have a key fob for my car. It'll probably just hook onto here and just stay in here because I don't need to take it out and use it. Um, there is one extra pouch back here, a zipper pouch um, that I could use. I likely will just put my phone in the front one where my money and my cards will be and then the middle one will be where my camera is. I did order a coin purse that I can use as well for credit cards. I don't really wanna like have this opening up a ton and have the cards fall out. So I might put like one credit card into that coin purse and then use the coin purse for actual coins, um, especially when we're on vacation because I use, again, cash budget. I don't mind it. It does serve a purpose for what I need it to be used for. Um, I just wanted it a little bit larger. So I'm gonna keep looking, maybe get one that's like a leather, like a bigger pouch type for like daily use around town because I do want like the crossbody size and to decrease my purse size. So batteries flashing. Hang on. New battery. We're all good. We're gonna go faster. Some of this stuff is going to be for Hawaii, so I will revisit it when um, I do that haul video. Um, I got three bottles of Meclazine. If you know, you know. Then I got a dress for Hawaii. I'm gonna try it on, but I'm gonna make you guys wait to see that when I do that haul video. It'll be a couple weeks, so you have to just be patient and subscribe so you can find out later on. Um, Kaylee got a iPad case, hers broke. I was gonna make her wait for her birthday, but it broke, the home key isn't working, and I don't wanna damage the iPad in the few weeks we have before her birthday, so whatever. Just chalk it up as an early gift or office supplies, I don't know. Okay, so now let's show you what I got from the dollar store. Let me show you some of the simple things. I found tissue paper. Um, I like these cute, bright colors. Normally I do white, but I thought with the Easter bags that I got, that would be really fun. And then I just got these conditioners. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, I got one shampoo, but then I got conditioners. I'm, I keep telling my kids like they need, to, oh, that's leaking, <laughs> fantastic. Um, they need to use less conditioner. I, I keep pulling out the shampoos. There are conditioners in there. Um, now I can't do anything about it because I got shampoo in my hand. I keep telling them dime-sized conditioner. That's all you need, but they keep going through it like crazy and I'm not gonna spend Costco prices for conditioner when I can spend $1.25 for this huge bottle. I know it's like a non-name brand, but at this point, I don't really care. <laughs> Just need something they can wash and condition their hair with that's not gonna break the bank. I gotta go and wash my hand off now. Didn't end up being so simple. Also, for, for full transparency, this is what you are currently sitting on. My um, Girl Scout cookies came yesterday, so. <laughs> 
they are gonna get hidden, especially from Jason. He ha he does know they are here, um, but I need to hide them because they will be gone tomorrow if it, I keep them out and about. Okay, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm gonna not do this totally official. You saw the bags. I just think they're so cute. Every single bag is different. So to show you that, got a little plaid and a bunny and a peeps and, or bunny peeps and little checkered and then eggs and stripes. Super fun and with those bright colored tissue paper, I thought that would be fun. This is why you don't go to the store when you're hungry after a workout. I got face wipe. I thought that I got like all three flips of these kinds the same because they were yellow, but I got coconut and tea tree and lemon and pineapple agave. I, I like those scents, pineapple and orange. I got three of those. We just, we use these every day. I use them in the bathroom down here to kind of wash my face. Then I got some things for a certain birthday. If you keep an eye out in videos to know who might have started using these, you can leave a comment down below because she doesn't read the comments. Take a gander at whose these are for their birthday. Take a gander. I saw clips like this that were a little bit different online and they wanted $12 for three of them. And I got three of them for $3.75. You tell me. This is also for a certain someone's birthday or I might steal it for when she's gonna braid my hair today. <laughs> but I don't care. It doesn't need to be a birthday gift. We keep losing combs. Um, then I also got these little clips. I'm gonna use them as chip clips. I got one of these from my friend's house when we went out to play games. She just let me bring it home because she has a ton and I'm like, I need chip clips. The ones we have from Ikea are just a complete waste. I need like, I'm so whatever. It is what it is. I also got some Dove lotion. I use this one specifically for my face. I don't use it anywhere else. And the one I have is almost gone and Kaylee took my backup one. Again, for girls, <laughs> we have to have backup supplies of things like this. You just do. Um, I also got five, five or six bars of Dove soap. I do go very name brand on a lot of the stuff that we put on our skin. This is Bolero brand and we have seen that the Bolero brand is very good and we like it and it smells good and so we do go name brand on lotions and things like that. So I got five bars of this because I currently only have two and any like we kind of rotate and every bathroom kind of gets done at the same time. So we have three that we cycle through every single time we run out and so I need to have kind of a backup supply. So the other things, and I'm gonna show some of the things that I got for Hawaii in a Hawaii haul as well. So you'll kind of see that on repeat. I just got stuff today because I was thinking about it. I could get it later, I just was thinking about it and I, whatever, I, I plan ahead. We loved having glow stick for nighttime swimming when we were on the big island last year. So I got a couple packs of those. They obviously only last one night. So we're only gonna open one pack per night that we're happening to, happening to go out and swim at night. Chelsea and Ashley, they just love it. And it's kind of a fun activity to do at nighttime. I, I think we can swim every single night, but we do have a luau planned one of the nights and then other nights It'll just be too late by the time we get home. Um, I also got some zip up hefty ziploc bags I got like this this one here is the stand up one I, I just found these are gonna go to Hawaii with me I'm obviously not gonna keep the boxes and I could just take baggies from my supply here But I did like this um, stand up bigger chunkier version to this one because I find that when we go um, We take stuff on the road with us. We don't have they don't have time Tupperwares and baggies in the condos that we rent and so if we have a bunch of fruit or a bunch of veggies that we want to take I'm not gonna pack individual lunches for every single person I'm just gonna do a big bag of fruit or a big bag of veggies and then we have that also gallon size as well in case we don't like a lot of time I just use the loaf bag from the bread but um, that is handy if you don't have the bag and like if you don't use all the bread okay so now I have to decide if I want to actually use that black bag currently and go through my purse. I don't know. I think it's too small for like daily use. I don't know. But maybe I'll just go through my purse and like declutter it real quick and decide kind of in my head what I would want to use in a smaller bag so that I understand better what size to order. Because I am going to order something different. I just don't know what that's going to be. Side note, the dress didn't work. I don't know. It has a weird tight band right underneath the chest. And I, it fit, I got it on and it fits fine. It just is not comfortable and it would make me self-conscious. So this, going back to Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the, I think I'm on the last episode or second to last episode of Outer Banks. And I'm just gonna kind of sort through my purse. I will show you the amount of garbage that I have in here. I don't think there's too much. And then I'm gonna kind of take it apart and figure out what I wanna keep in it on a daily use or if I have enough to like make this little pouch thing work. So we'll see how it goes.
All right, here is all the stuff that was in my purse. I've got a stack of receipts to scan and then throw away. This is a new credit card that I got. I just need to activate it. Then I've got my fan. I probably will not even put this back into my purse, take it back upstairs for my makeup table because I don't get that hot anymore. Even during the summer, I just don't need the fan. I've got two different kinds of mints that is left over from Lydia for my birthday. And then I just have regular mints. So this one will be gone probably, there's only like two or three left in there. And then I've got that one. These are my little sunglasses that uh, magnetize to the glasses I'm currently wearing. Um, and then I've got two little lip gloss oils that I think I'm just gonna stick into here or try and find a bigger one so that they can all fit into one so that I don't need to actually keep that one on me. I, I would probably leave this in my purse because it has like extra pens, Sharpies, ibuprofen, um, nail clippers, sanitizer. I'm just gonna leave that one in my car. Um, but I don't know why I have three chapsticks in here. I'm hoping that one of these is almost gone and that's why I have, yep, that one's new then this one is hopefully almost gone and why I got a new one. Yep, okay, we're gonna throw that one away. This one probably can go into my drawer in my desk. I don't need that one. This one actually goes to the car. That is, again is from Lydia. I just keep forgetting to put it in the car. Then I've got my little Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is something that I can just keep in a little pouch and keep it in the car because um, that's most of the time what I where I would put it on anyway. I wouldn't pull it out and use it in a store. I would just sit in the car and put lotion on. This is my little pouch to keep my battery and an extra SD card for my cameras. And this is a coin purse with coins and cash. And um, my earbuds. And let's see what else do we have here. I have two sets of keys in here. I'm not really sure why I have two fobs in here. I'm just gonna leave one at home. So this one can go away. And then I got these at the Hobby Lobby yesterday when Ashley went to spend her gift card. They were on clearance. They're little tabbies that go on my notebook. I've got these ones are, these ones are cute because they're like the months. And then this one is just like florals and florals as well. But they were only like a dollar, I can't read it, a dollar 24. So that one just goes to my desk. Then this pouch, um, if you've seen my purse cleanouts before, this has all my insurance cards and um, like membership cards, like my library membership card and there's an Ikea, there's Red Robin. I just have those cards, but I don't need them every day. I'm just gonna have them accessible in that pouch. And then this one has tampons in it. So again, I'll just keep that into the car. Um, if I do think I might need one, I can just stick one into this pouch or whatever purse I end up having as like a backup when I'm in the store, but then I have a backup in the car as well. So we're working out pretty well here. I've got my regular keys. This is for like the mailbox or house keys, my PO box key. This is my key fob for Costco, for Costco gas. Um, and then I actually was able to get Kaylee her own Costco card to get her own gas. And then my wallet, um, I'm not gonna go into my wallet very much because obviously that's a lot of personal information, but I find that a lot of what I use is like three cards. And so I don't need all of this. Like I don't need to keep my vaccine cards on hand all the time anymore. I don't even need to travel with those anymore. So I'm gonna put those into our safe and keep those locked up because we don't need them. That's my insurance card. I, I can get that and put it in the car. I don't need to keep it on me in my wallet. So I don't know, I just think I'm gonna declutter this. Like I said, I'm getting another coin purse that I'm gonna use just for like credit cards outside of like this coin purse to just put into here and see if that works better. So overall, I don't need to like put all of this stuff into this bag, so I might do it. I might do it for a few days and see how it goes. Okay, I've narrowed things down. I found two gift cards for McDonald's. I've got like $7 in that and then a $10 gift card for five guys. So I'm gonna stick that into like my little coin purse for now. I've got my other credit cards, debit cards, driver's license in there until I get my other coin purse. And then I'm just gonna have cash in this one. I don't know, my other coin purse um, has two different sections to it. So I might be able to do coins in one side and um, cards on the other side. So well, I'll just see, but I don't mind keeping cash in here and then putting my cards in the other coin purse because it fits into here um, really well. Um, and then if I end up using the purse, I can just 
I can transfer some of this stuff pretty easy. Um, I could actually just stick the whole thing into my purse if I needed to, <laughs> but I do have all of my little cards in that pouch to keep. Um, I might just put it in the purse and I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to keep it in the car, I don't know what to do. I need to find a bigger pouch for that stuff. This is stuff that I probably want to have with it, but again, like I don't need to, so it can stay with like that, but my, I don't know. The keys are just kind of bulky. What I need to do is put this set of keys in here and then see how my camera fits in here. Um, I just think the key on this side, and this is where my camera needs to go. I don't want the keys to like jack up my camera. So I'm gonna put the pen in this side underneath my coin purse. Um, I need to be able to have the camera go in and out of here really seamlessly. I also switched and just did a stick chapstick instead of my big ball one over there. Um, that one will fit in here better. Then I have my discs. I don't need that huge thing in here. So anyway, and then my AirPod case usually goes with me. And then mints. I don't know. This can go right here. That's not as bulky and it's flat. So that does work. Um, let me see what it feels like with the camera. And then, I don't know. It's funny how like I'm kind of going through different phase of like what I want to do. But then I still need this stuff. You know what I mean? I don't really want to have a purse visible in the car because that looks bad. Maybe I do a pouch and I kind of hide it into a different compartment in my car. That way I have it accessible when I'm in the car, but not visible. I don't know. And that is my pile of garbage. I got a new credit card, activated that. These are all gift cards that no longer have balances on them and garbage. So I'll throw all that stuff away. Kind of cleaned up most of the mess. I want to finish watching my show before the kids get home. So I'm making myself a little lunch. Um, and something that I've done to make me choose to eat better is to have the veggies prepped. I had this pineapple left over from our game night the other night and then I've got some blueberries underneath there. But something that I've done is to chop up the veggies and put them into jars. I learned this on TikTok from someone who has lost like 400 pounds. But I'm gonna do that with more vegetables with onions and then I'm gonna do a jar of diced up peppers for like my chaffles, my cheese waffles. And I have like a whole stack of already prepared vegetables so that I actually choose to do that more often because I know that like now that I have some taco meat ready to go um, I choose to make a quick wrap or a salad because it's all prepped and ready to go so anyway that's what I oh we also made some broccoli last night again it's done prepped cooked I just need to warm it up take this and my water and go finish my show really quick before the girls get home and try really hard to ignore this I need to hide that I gotta hide that Chelsea won't get into it but I gotta hide it before Jason gets home okay yeah. in a little bit I have already taken Abby to work I have this little squirtle what plan have you con concocted with all of your friends? For like a week. We've been talking Yeah, you've worked on this for a while, huh? She's got um, all of her friends to converse with their mothers and plan this play date. So now somehow I am in charge of going to get one of the girls and take them all over to another girl's house. And then Jason will pick them up and bring them home. Are They're parents are going to listen to her because... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, they're, one of the moms is still working right now, so she can't, she's at home, but she can't leave and take her da daughter over there. So I'm going to go pick her up real quick. Jason just called or texted me, and uh, I don't know if they got any footage. I, I have no idea. I will insert it at some point, maybe right here. Jason said he had the most, the best day skiing he's ever had this season probably even ever since we moved here. He hasn't had great snow in years past, and he said this is the best day of skiing he's ever had. And I'm, I, I knew it was because it's already 4.30, and he stayed as long as he could. And normally he only stays for like two, three hours, and then he comes home. But he's been up there for four and a half hours now. So <laughs> clearly they got full use of their day skiing. Um, I'm assuming his brother stayed up there the whole day too. Uh, so anyway, excited to see how he does. Um, hopefully he understands he's still on dad duty tonight and he has to go and pick up all these kids and take them home and get Abby and, cause I have to take Chelsea to her church activity completely the opposite direction at the exact same time. So. <laughs> We have to do dual taxi duty tonight. So I am coming to you from my car. Usually I'm at work, but because I have such amazing people that work for me, um, I think.
think you've met her before. We've had her. She's a great, amazing person. Samantha, I don't want to like, uh, I think I have permission to use her name. Anyways, uh, she's an amazing person. She's going to manage the store, manage the other crew. Um, so I'm going to go up skiing. I don't get to do this too often. In fact, this is the first time I've ever left work to do this. Um, I'm very appreciative of her. Uh, I'm excited to go up and ski with my brother. So it's supposed to be a good day. It's still snowing up there. Uh, it's the simple things in life, right? Simple things that make uh, life good. Our friends, it's nice little dinners, it's good food, it's skiing, powder, hanging out. Uh, it's loved ones. So I appreciate all the many great people in my life. My wife, my amazing kids, amazing people that work with me. Um, thank you. She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you both get to play taxi could I get his car he's watching you like don't touch my car he's like you're gonna steal my car aren't you yes I am he's getting Abby and Ashley and I am taking you to the church right mm -hmm. you're playing mafia tonight yeah so I think I'm gonna end today's video here it's been an eventful day for me so got a lot like done <laughs> I better be careful. I'm gonna get the cop behind me. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. He does that every single time and he never ever gets caught by the police. So I'm gonna put the camera down. We'll see you guys next time. He's not behind me. I should go really slow now. Yeah. Really slow right in front of dad. All right, take care guys. Good night. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.